Have you seen the American movie Under the Tuscan Sun? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. What did you think? Uh, it's, it's quite true, actually. I'm moving here. <laughs> Welcome to Tuscany! Tuscany. The rolling hills of the Val d'Orcia, the rustic cypress trees and castles of Chianti, the hayfields and golden sunsets in Pienza. It's a Midsummer Night's Dream, and in my imagination, what heaven looks like. I've died and gone to heaven. There's a specific sweet smell in the air. It smells like horse poop. Once you get past the initial horse poop stage, your senses are taken by the sweet aroma of licorice and honeysuckle. It is overwhelmingly beautiful, and I can't wait to show you around my favorite place. Now, to travel the countryside, the train is limited, so you need a car. Okay, we're leaving the car rental place with our Fiat. So cute. Just kidding, we got this ugly orange one. It's like a PT Cruiser of Italy. Note to self, they drive stick shift in Europe. We learned that the hard way. But, as fate would have it, we ended up with our dream car, the automatic. And we were off to see it all. We got lost in the windy cobblestone streets of San Gimignano and Monte Polciano. They're the storybook hilltop towns that make you feel like you're walking headfirst into the Renaissance. Where on a hot day, nothing is more refreshing than a gelato or an ice cold drink or two. And Florence, where the sights, tastes, and sounds are all grand. But there's one place in particular that stole my heart. Montalcino, and the home of Argiano. Where our new friend, Jimmy Valentino, had an epic day planned ahead. Founded in 1580, Argiano is one of the oldest wineries in Montalcino, and one of the most prestigious and historical ones, too. It was owned by an important family in Siena to defend their honor during the war against Florence. It's our little corner of paradise. Oh. As you can see, birds are singing and, and no one is never allowed here. In front of us, this is the chapel. It's called San Pancrazio ad Argiano. You don't have to be religious to feel the incredible spirit here. Nestled in the heart of the Val d'Orcia region, it is maintained in pristine. Val d'Orcia is sweet. And you will see, uh, for example, we go and see here. Uh, look at this view, how gentle the hills are. This is a uh, UNESCO um, property. I so uh, even if like uh, you want to move a stone from one place to the other, you need to ask a permission. Very proud of our beautiful places and we take care of it. One thing is clear, Tuscans understand hospitality. And if you're looking for a new change of pace... Foreigners decide to like leave everything, come to Tuscany and like live in the farm, grow your own animals and eat. It's a hard life, I must okay. be honest giving you so much satisfaction. What kind of bugs and animals are, do you find mostly around here? Uh, so we have a lot of wild boars, like Pumba, you know? Yeah, I was gonna say, like the Lion <laughs> exactly. King. It's like a Disney movie here. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel the circle of life, and the history is palpable, and the escape room closed for centuries, and this gorgeous stairwell that was converted out of an old working water well. They respect their history, so much so that they still even use the tried and true Da Vinci method to ferment their wine. But Montalcino is world famous for one thing, the Brunello. It's our champion. He has won the award of best red wine in Italy. What? Yes, this last year by the Gaperos. And it's a, uh, it's a, uh, we're very, very proud of this. It's, it's a jewel. And it tastes like the tears of an angel. 
But then, a story I'll never forget. Mr. Takis came here and he is the father of the Super Tuscans. So he started to produce a Super Tuscan also for our channel. He started to receive many critics from the other producers of the area. We, we have to focus on the Brunello, why are you doing a Super Tuscan in Montalcino? And he just didn't care and he found the name of the wine. Solengo means the lonely wild boar, the lonely wild pig. So, not the ones that stays together with the rest, but the one that goes his way. As we continued on our way with our glorious tour, the private dining hall was awaiting us with a tasting and lunch prepared by the chef, suited for the royalty that once roamed these grounds. Gosh. <laughs> Nice. This is so good. Oh. oh my gosh. What? I have no words. Eating like kings, we ate this bird that was similar to a fancy pigeon. You only find it in a high class restaurant. It's very expensive. Mm. And it's difficult to catch it, it's difficult to, to get it, it's difficult to cook it. But they're not the same pigeons that uh, like we have in Times Square. I don't know if the meat. It's, it's different because I never had the ones that are staying in the squares. Good to know. To take advantage of this authentic Italian moment, it was time for my burning questions. Amalfi Coast or Cinque Terre? Ah, if I had a gun here and, yeah, and I had really to, <laughs> choose, to choose, I would say mm, Amalfi oh, Coast for the flavors mm. and the hospitality okay. and people, food. <laughs> Pizza or pasta? Uh, ah. Also here, mamma mia. <laughs> pasta. Describe Italy in one word. Unique. Unique? Unique. Most importantly, Andrea Bocelli mm -hmm. or Justin Bieber? <laughs> ah, vabbè. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> it's Bieber? Obvious. Well, I I'm more Andrea Bocelli. Actually, Andrea Bocelli is a very good friend of ours here. Yeah. Uh, really? <laughs> yes, of course. Sorry, Justin Bieber. I guess some things are just loved across all cultures, like musical theater. Um, my favorite one in the world is The Lion King. You love The Lion King? Yeah. Fantastic. Have you ever seen it? Oh, my dad worked on it in Las oh. Vegas. Yeah. It's... It, the puppets. Yes. Thinking about my dad, my own family, and The Lion King again, had me sentimental about our lineage. That's the heart of Italy. Is it family? Definitely. It's family. 100%. And then we sit together and we eat the, the food of our grandmothers and we drink the wines and uh, we spend the good days together. It, it's, it's all about family. It's, it's about all, family. It's all about family. Also here at Arjano, uh, it's family owned. It, we always mm. have a get together. It's not just a matter of getting together at Christmas, mm. but it's, it's a matter of getting together like every Sunday for lunch. Wow, yeah. so you make the effort to go. Yes, of course, yes. But I mean, it's not an effort, it's, it's a pleasure. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Sipping on Brunello with Jimmy, eating the food of their grandparents, I felt like a true part of the Argiano family. But this wasn't by accident. They welcome you with love on purpose. They can't help it, it's in their blood. Leaving Tuscany, I'll be the Salengo the lone Pumbaa-type boar, forging my own way. And remembering, there's beauty and delicacy in things others may not see. Sugar. We found pokey in an American restaurant. 